Okay, so now that we know how to add, subtract, multiply polynomials, we're going to use them to solve a few uh, geometric problems here. So, I'll start with the simple one, and it's asking us to find the perimeter and area of our rectangle below here. So, our formula for the perimeter of this, it's a rectangle, so this side's going to be the same as this one, this one's going to be the same as this one. We want the distance all the way around. So, I guess I want two of these. So it's two width plus two lengths. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go the perimeter is equal to two times x minus three plus my two width, so I put my width in there, plus two times two x plus one. Okay, so uh, we can do a little distributive property here for both of these. Do the multiplication first, and that's going to give us 2x minus 6 plus 4x plus 2. Okay, collect my like terms, and I end up with 2x plus 4x is equal to 6x. And minus 6 plus 2 gives me minus 4. So my perimeter is equal to 6x minus 4. Okay, now let's try the area. And this is where we're actually starting to multiply binomials. So we did this last lesson. And we, uh, we know that our area is going to be my length times my width. Okay, and I'm going to use some tiles to... Uh, multiply this out. So I know what I want to do here. Let's set up the form here. Okay. Is I want to my area is going to equal 2x plus 1, my first binomial, times x minus 3, my second binomial. So if you remember our little box here, I'm going to write my first binomial across the top. 2x plus 1, and my second binomial, here, I'll just put a little line here, so we'll make it separate, my second binomial, x minus 3 here. And I'm going to, I'm going to separate my box into four quadrants, okay? And now all we really want to do here is say, what's the area of each of these boxes, add them up, and that's going to be our total area. So 2x, times x gives me 2x squared. And then this distance here is 1. This is x, so that's going to give me 1x. This distance is still 2x, times this distance here is minus 3, so it gives us minus 6x. And finally, 1 times minus 3 gives me minus 3. Okay, and now... We just collect the like terms, and that's our area. So area is equal to, looks like I got a 2x squared. Okay, And I've got two x's, so I'm going to add these two up. So minus 6x plus x gives me minus 5x. And then finally, my only constant is minus 3. So that's the polynomial that represents the area of our rectangle. Okay, so let's uh, use those ideas and try another problem here that's a little bit more fun. Okay, so it says uh, the Webers are landscaping their yard, and they have planted a garden that's that will be surrounded by a stone walkway. So here's our stone walkway on two sides. So this side and this side. And we want to know the area of the stone that they will need. So what we, we want the area of the stone. So let's write a little sentence up here. Well, let's just write it out in words. We want the area of the stone. What we'd like to do is figure out what the area of stone is equal to so that we can go and find it. Okay? So I guess if I took the whole area of this rectangle around the outside and subtracted the area of their garden here, 
So there's an area of the garden that's here. That would give me the area of what's left. So if I subtract the whole area minus this area, that's going to leave me with my area of my stone. So area of the stone is going to be the whole area minus the area of the garden. The garden area. Uh, in here. There. Okay. So let's go ahead and find our pieces. Let's find out what the area of the whole rectangle is here for, and we'll do the same thing. So let's set up our sides into a little box. So this one. So this is going to be my whole area. I'm going to equal. And along this side, I'm going to put 2x and plus 3. And along this side, I've got 3x minus 1. Now let's go do our side. So we've got 6x squared here. 3x times 2x, right? This distance times this distance. Minus 2x. Okay? Minus 1 times 2x is minus 2x. Uh, plus 9x and minus 3. So my whole area, if I collect like terms here, is going to be 6x squared. Looks like plus 7x. 9x minus 2x is plus 7x minus 3. Okay, so that's our first part. We've got our whole area. So now we want our garden area. So let's do that. So I'll do that right here. My garden area is going to equal. And here I just want to multiply this times this. And here I don't have two binomials, so we don't really need to do the whole... Um, box thing here because we know how to handle this without it. So I'm going to go 2x times 2x plus 2. That's going to give me my garden area. Okay. And let's use a distributive property to get 4x squared plus 4x. Okay. So now we can go ahead and apply both of those things to our original formula. We want the area of the stone We've got the whole area here. We've got the garden area down here. So if we subtract those two things, that's going to give us the area of the stone fence in here, or the walkway. Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to go area of the stone is going to equal 6x squared plus 7x minus 3. And now minus, okay, because we're subtracting, the whole area from the garden area, in parentheses, because we want to subtract the whole thing, right? 4x squared plus 4x. Okay, so area of the stone is going to equal. have to make sure that we use our distributive property here. I'll write one more step out here. 6x squared plus 7x minus 3 minus 4x squared. And here, again, minus 4x. Let's collect our like terms now, and this will give us our final answer. So 6x squared minus 4x squared gives me 2x squared, plus 7x minus 4x gives me plus 3x, and minus 3 is still hanging around here, minus 3. So there we go. That's the area of the stone walkway that goes around our garden. All right. So let's uh, finish off with a couple other examples here. That one looks pretty good. Um, this one I'm just going to start for you and leave, you, leave it for you as an exercise. Okay? So we want to find the volume of this box. So let's start by just putting in a formula here. We know that the volume of the box is going to equal the area of the base times the height. It's going to be the area of the base times the height, or length times width times height. So what I want you to do is think about what you have to multiply together here, length times width times height, and do that multiplication and um, tell me what the total volume of this box is when you, when you put those together. Okay, Okay. so I took a little commercial break there to get uh, 
this problem set up for you. But uh, here we go. So um, the figure below shows a component of a jack-in-the-box, a toy manufactured by a toy company. Find the following. So we want to find the volume of the entire box. We want to find the volume of the compartment that will contain jack, so this shaded part in here, and the volume not taken up by jack, so the, the empty space around jack. Okay, so let's put in just a couple of simple formulas here. The volume of the entire box is going to be my entire length times width times height. Okay, and the volume of the compartment that will contain jack, this even looks like kind of an easy one here. It looks like I've got x here, I've got x along here for the shaded part, and then I've got 2x along here. So again, the volume of jack is another length times width times height and then the volume not taken up by jack is going to be when I subtract the two the total volume minus the piece in the center so it's going to be here let's call this the volume of the entire box VE okay so the volume of not taken up by jack the volume of the space let's call that okay the empty space is going to be VE minus VJ. The entire uh, volume of the box minus the volume of the jack's going to take up. Okay, so I'm not going to have enough room to do this up here because I've got to multiply uh, three binomials together. So let's uh, put that over here. So I'm going to start up a little box here and we're going to say 2x plus 1 and we'll, we'll find the area of the base first. Okay, times x plus 3. Okay, so this area, that bottom part, looks like it's going to be 2x plus x plus 6x. Or sorry, this should be 2x squared. Okay, 2x squared. And then this is going to be 3 down here. Okay, so the volume of the entire box is going to be this area that area, area of the base, is going to equal 2x squared plus 7x, I'm going to add those two up, plus 3. Okay, so now we want to multiply the area of the base times the height. Okay, so let's do that here. So the height is going to be 2x plus 3. And along the side now, I'm going to have the area of my base. So 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Okay, so let's go and multiply those out. Better hurry up. The battery's going. You heard the beeps. Okay, so 2 times 2x squared times 2x it gives me 4x. Now it's going to be cubed, right? Here I'm going to have 6x squared. Here I'm going to have uh, 14x squared. Okay, 2x times 7x is 14x squared. Down here, over here, I'm going to have looks like 21x. Okay, here is going to be 6x, and looks like 9 is going to go in here. Okay, so the Total volume is going to equal, okay, uh, I guess we can just write this up here. Looks like 4x cubed, okay, plus, let's do my x squareds now, or by this one, so 14x squared plus 6x squared is 20x squared, right, okay, both of my x is going to be 6x plus 21x gives me. 27x and finally plus 9. That's pretty good. Okay, so that should set you up to finish it. Okay, now all you got to do is figure out what the volume of this box on the inside is x by x by 2x. You're going to put that in here and um, then subtract the 2. And I'm going to leave that for you as an exercise to finish for you, my little friends.
So have fun.